So Michael and I met, I want to say, almost 15 years ago. He approached me about doing a music video, and uh, you know I didn't know at the time. We didn't know each other at all. So I, I, he sent me over some songs to listen to, and I was like, wow, this guy's like this local guy making making good music, and thought, okay, we can do something really cool with it. We, we met a few times and, and uh, you know, threw some ideas against the wall to see what would stick. And, you know, we ended up doing this, this cool project where we blocked traffic on this huge bridge and he stood on the edge of the bridge strapped to the, you couldn't see the straps, but he's standing over the edge of a bridge. And, you know, we had a lot of fun working together. We kind of just like sort of nudged each other forward and, and, and the energy was really good. And we were both really happy with the results of, of that project. And then it just kind of, um, you know, turned into a thing where, you know, he sends me music and, and I shoot back ideas and, you know, we put stuff out and, 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 it, and it's, it's a great creative exercise for me and I know for him it, it, it helps share his music in a way with the visuals that, that opens it up to a wider audience, I think. Derek Bort is, 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 has done all my videos, actually, and um, uh, I think the first one was, was Overstay. That, that was enrichment. And it's always about telling, telling the story. You know, for, for me, I, I don't want to see some guy up there just, you know, lip syncing to his own song, pretending to be on stage. In my music, there's a story to tell. We really try hard to have a narrative, to have some sort of cinematic, you know, cinematic uh, element to these videos. Not just, not just be a performer-centric video, but also help tell a story. Michael's been a performer his whole life. You know, I think that. Um, if you look at just the history of uh, his musical history, it was always leading towards him being a, a, a solo artist, I think, if you, if, you, if you really look at that timeline. And, you know, part of being a performer is, is not just what it sounds like, but it's what it looks like. And I think he's, he embraces the challenge of these videos, you know, much like an actor would, you know, going into a, a film of some sort, you know, I think he, he gets into it, he, he's got a story behind each of these songs that, he's, that, that are very personal. His stories, you know, his songs are very personal to him and I think that the videos as well become that way and he dives into these roles, you know, he loses himself in a, in a role in a, in a music video as well and I think it's just, he's kind of a natural in that way. What Derek is so good at is, is you don't want to really tell him what it's about. You want to, there's, there's clues in there for you to kind of figure it out, but you can come to, to, to your own conclusions on your own. I mean, I definitely have some favorites. You know, I think that Stay On is one of my favorites for sure. From the first time I heard it, I just was taken with, you know, the song just, just connected with me in a way. And we, we, we did some really cool things with the video in that it was the height of COVID, so we couldn't really do like a, a, a big production. So we, we built an LED box and put a reflecting pool on the, for the floor. And it's just him, but the viewer gets to go on an interesting ride through that video and the song, and it's just one that that still um, it's still probably my favorite. You know, the one we shot at the Bird Theater in Richmond was really cool because the theater was full of people, yet they all had VR goggles on. We had Michael on stage, 
as though he was in that VR world and created this entirely CG generated world of animated panels behind him and, and while the audience is just there zoning out in their headsets and Michael's performing for them, he comes out and just sort of stands there and plugs in. And then when he's done, they just sort of sit there. You know, the curtain comes down and he unplugs and kind of walks off the stage. And it's, that's, that's another one I really like. Usually it's, I'll, I'll, I'll give him like a copy of the record and he kind of listens to it. It's, it's, it's never done. I mean, it's not mixed. And so, he, you know, he'll listen to it and a few of the songs, you know, kind of rise, rise to the top. And so then uh, him and I will get together and we'll talk about it, you know, and, and then we start spitballing and, you know, well, what if we, you know, what if, what, what, what if we do this and what, what if we do that? And Derek is, is a really good at that. I mean, we've done, you know, the, we've done, done a lot of videos. He has a great crew and the guy's a perfectionist and uh, he is so focused when he's doing this stuff and he lives and breathes it. Guy's always looking out after me. Great, great dude and a great friend. Something that I think um, connects Michael and myself is work ethic. I mean, the guy is so prolific and just, he gets up and he, he goes into that studio every single day and just, just bleeds on the board, you know, and just, you know, guts himself every day and, you know, he is driven in a way that inspires me uh, to have to try to keep up, for sure. If you look at the books that he's got, you know, that he keeps, these, these sort of, you know, lyric slash sketchbooks that he keeps, you can see that there's still, there's still so much more material left that he it has to get out and, you know, that he knows he's leaving for his kids and his grandkids to hopefully get to know him maybe in a way that, you know, you don't get to know somebody when they're, when they're on their best behavior, you know? I think you get to know someone with, with the art that they generate and what they leave behind. These things are so gratifying to me because it's just like two friends getting together to have fun with a camera and, you know, do something cool. And while there's not the normal pressure that I face on a feature film or something like that, it's a challenge that I, that I embrace and love that time pushing each other and, and hoping we come up with something cool. When you see the volume of, of visual material that he, that he puts out, as well as the lyrics, I mean, you know there, he still has more stories to tell, that's for sure.